Black Holes by Robert Krona, Johannes Olander and Felix Wallin. I think that's what it took back in. You have probably encountered the term black hole sometimes. But do you truly know what's meant by that? A black hole is a concentration of mass, so dense that the gravity prevents even light from escaping. You can illustrate this with the rocket. To enable something, for an instance this rocket to escape a gravitational field, it needs, needs to have a certain speed, escape velocity, to physically be able to get away. If the speed isn't high enough, the gravitational field with, uh, will eventually pull the rocket back. The same thing goes with light. If the gravitational field is strong enough, the escape velocity required to resist it will become higher than the speed of light. It traps the light and nothing can escape from the black hole. The first time someone proposed the idea of a mass so great that light could not escape was a geologist called John Mitchell wrote about the matter in a letter in 1783. The same idea was also suggested in a couple of books written in 1796 by a mathematician called Pierre-Simon Lapas. But no one understood how light, which was considered massless, could be affected by gravity. That's the reason why these theories were ignored until 1915 when Einstein wrote his theory of general relativity. He concluded with this theory that light in fact was affected by gravity. It has been speculated if black holes could contain such incredible amounts of mass that entire galaxies are forced to revolve around them. We call these extreme objects supermassive black holes. One can be found in the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way, and it has a mass equivalent to 4 million suns. It was the discovery of this supermassive black hole that was the first definitive proof of the existence of black holes. The discovery was made by looking at the stars near the center of the galaxy. They revolved at incredible speed around what seemed to be nothing. The stars had to revolve around something and judging by the extreme gravitational pull needed to make the star orbit in such a high speed, there could be no other explanation than the existence of a black hole. Most galaxies are thought to have supermassive black holes at their centers. One such has been observed in our neighbor galaxy, Andromeda, just two and a half million light years away. Andromeda's black hole, however, contains almost 10 times more mass than ours. A common type of black hole is produced by certain dying stars. A star with a mass greater than about 20 times the mass of Sun may produce a black hole at the end of its life. In the normal life of a star, there is a constant tug of war between gravity pulling in and pressure pushing out. Nuclear reactions in the core of the star produce enough energy and pressure to resist the gravitational pull. For most of a star's life, gravity and pressure balance each other exactly, and so the star is stable. However, when a star runs out of nuclear fuel, gravity gets the upper hand and the material in the core is compressed even further. Uh, the more massive the core of the star gets, the greater the force of gravity that compresses the material, collapsing it under its own weight. When a very massive star e exhausts its nuclear fuel, it explodes in a supernova. The outer parts of the star are expelled violently into space, while the core completely collapses under its own weight. If the core remaining after the supernova is very massive, no known repulsive force inside a star can push back hard enough to prevent gravity from completely collapsing the core into a black hole. From the perspective of the collapsing star, the core contracts into a mathematical point with virtually no volume, where it's said to have infinite density. This is called a singularity, 
where this happens, it would require a velocity greater than the speed of light to escape the object's gravity. Since no object can reach a speed faster than light, no matter or radiation can escape. Anything including light which passes within the boundary of the black hole, called the event horizon, is trapped forever. All black holes aren't born in a supernova, some stars just implode. This would mean that black holes can be created throughout the galaxy without anyone noticing. Our galaxy could be full of invisible black holes. Maybe our sun is taking us towards one of these anonymous black holes at this very moment. <laughs>